So, and what is your crime? Um, what? I am Warlord Ragnar, patron of this berserker settlement while Master Thorold is on pilgrimage. Anyone who commits a crime must answer to me. Emissaries from the other communities also have to speak to me first. So, are you an emissary? Why are you here? Speak. I'm actually not from Idan. Oh. Hopefully you have good news from the other lands. Otherwise, this will be a very short guest performance for you here. So you had better think very carefully about your next answer. Again, what exactly do you want here? I'm looking for work. You can prove yourself by helping the people of Idan. There is more than enough work to go around. So if you want to be tolerated here, you must follow my rules. These rules are very simple. If you harm the Berserker community, you will pay. If you serve the community, you will receive fair compensation for it. I hope we understand one another. Because if not, you will have to answer to me. Is that clear? You're the boss. Yes, correct. The quicker you understand that, the better for you. Heed my advice, and you will find the Berserkers to be good hosts. Is there anything else? Master Thorold, what kind of man is he? Thorold is not here at the moment. The Warlords are in charge of the day-to-day -day running, though all owe their allegiance to him, the Pilgrim. He has taken it upon himself to go into retreat to seek the answers we need for Idan to survive. His knowledge of magic is superior to anyone's. If there is any person capable of solving the problems we face, it is the Pilgrim. Do you think the Berserkers can stop the Alps from conquering Idan? The Berserkers raised Idan from wasteland to forest. This is our home, and we will hold it. I heard you had taken heavy losses. War takes its toll. The clerics fought us, the outlaws have raided us, and now we must face the Alps. But the Berserkers' roots run deep into the ground here. And we have something to fight for. With magic, with self-belief and hard steel, we have returned as many dead Alps to Zekor as they have left Berserkers dead and dying here. Cormag, Angram, and myself will see the Berserkers stand firm. Talk to Angram if you want to know more. Where can I find Angram? Look for him in the Warriors' Quarter, near the Mana Shrine. Where is... Near the Mana Shrine. If you wish to find something in Goliath, Take your feet out of the door and find someone else to be your tour guide. Where can I buy armor like yours? Ha! <laughs> you can't simply buy a warlord's armor. You don't even have the rank of a cultivator, let alone that of a warrior. And you want warlord's armor? Why not? Slow down, friend. First proved to me that you would be a good cultivator. So... Make yourself useful in the city, and we can talk about better armor for you. Let's assume I help you out. Yes? What kind of special tasks would you have for me? Special tasks? Why would you figure that I need someone who can do more than just the usual? Because I see what's going on here. <laughs> Is it that obvious that we have some problems here in Goliath? Yes, it's apparent. I have to admit I underestimated you. At least you're observant. But it also takes guts to confront me. Mm, so you really want to help us out? Yes. There are many things to be done. Our people are dedicated, but we still have supply shortages. Food, medicine, machine parts, and other equipment. There are too few cultivators in the fields. Speak to the people here, and they can tell you where your skills are best used. Earn their trust, and you may earn mine. 
And if you're planning to join us, then I will have a very special task for you. A lot of people come to me looking to join us to climb the ranks. You look like you have ambition. If you earn my trust, you'll go far here. You said something about a special job if I want to join you. Correct. Then listen well. You must have sensed it out there. That things are changing. That something is happening. If we are going to survive and prosper, if we're to stand a chance against the Alps, I need to know what's going on there. That's where you come in. I need information about the other factions. Any information would be useful. But if you could bring me a report from the fort in Tavar, that would be very useful. So, be it the outlaws, a trip to the Dome City in Abessa, or word from the clerics in Ignodon, I need information. Bring me a report from at least two cities. Why don't you send one of your people? Sending a berserker might get the other factions worried. Or they simply might not talk to one of us. Or worse, talk, but lie. You, on the other hand, might get some proper answers. Now, I can give this job to someone else if you would prefer. But then you would be passing up the chance to prove yourself. The journey will have dangers. But if you stick to the path, you should reach the other cities alive. So, what will it be? Will you prove yourself? Impress me, and you will earn not just election, but favor, promotion, honor. We don't trust the secrets of our magic to just anyone. If you want such rewards, you need to earn them. About my support. Is there anything else that I can do for you? You seem to take this seriously. That's good. Since I can't pass off my duties onto you, you will have to make yourself useful in another way. The cultivators are constantly bothering me with their requests. That needs to stop. Oh, and Erdor hasn't sent back any reports from the World Heart lately. Find out if he's all right, and if he needs anything. As you can see, there's always something to do here. Where is the World Heart? To the south of Goliath, down the path. Chances are he's just busy tending to it. But I don't want to leave that to chance. We cannot afford for anything bad to happen to it. What do I need to do? Ask around the city. Help the people here, and they will give a good report of you to the warlord of their clan. Some are overburdened, or are doing things that are not in line with the law. Lend them a hand, and uphold our rules. And that means... Don't do anything forbidden by our laws. It is that simple. You shouldn't rely on machines. from another city. Yes? Which city did you go to? I went to the fort. Good. 
Then tell me your report on the outlaws. The fort is well prepared for defense. They're not lacking weapons, and they seem determined to keep what they have. And their state of mind? I'd hoped the outlaw problem would solve itself by them tearing themselves apart. They have similar numbers of people to you. It's true that they don't all agree, but their leader, the Duke, seems to have the outlaws under control. Then I will need to think again about Tavar. I was hoping that they'd implode, leaving us with one less threat. But it seems we may not be so fortunate. Tavar is always safer when it's fighting itself. It leaves them less energy for fighting us. Thank you for your report. I visited the Horde in Ignodon. The Horde? Stronghold of our old enemy. So, tell me about their strength. They're prepared, well-disciplined, and they're developing new weaponry. But they are short on manpower. I had heard they were recruiting. How are their forces distributed? Their attention is focused largely on the Alps, but they haven't forgotten the other factions. I think their main concern is being attacked if they decide to take on the Alps. At least they seem to have recognized who their real enemy is. Thank you for your report. I went to the Dome City in Abessa. Any information about the other factions is useful. Tell me what you learned. The people in the Dome City seem to want to remain neutral. But they are waiting to be attacked by the Alps. They know the war is coming. I think they're short of supplies and feeling lost, leaderless. Awaiting the axe to fall. The war has displaced a lot of refugees into Abessa, and there's a lot of argument over what to do with them and what they mean. That takes up most of their time. Thank you for your report. Go 